Attention seems to be the only choice I found a love that's undivided It's a love that's unbreakable, I swear When I look into your eyes, I see pure devotion A love that's timeless like an endless ocean No matter what storms may come our way
morning routine of a UCLA senior. Today I woke up at 5.30 because I'm at 9 a.m. and I wanted to get a workout in before class. I changed it to my favorite workout set and set up my yoga mat. I used the platform Allo Moves that has everything from yoga, Pilates, mindfulness, and more. Today I did some stretching and mat Pilates. Allo Moves has a promotion for students so your first month is free. After that, it's $5 a month or $49 a year until you graduate and you get 20% off your next Allo Yoga purchase. I love listening to meditation while making my hot water with lemon and some breakfast before getting dressed and ready for class. I genuinely love Allo Moves because I get to start my day off with mindfulness, movement, and wellness. up earlier the next morning but because i was so tired i decided to drink my coffee in bed this morning instead of in the living room that way i can at least lay down and relax for a little longer i could live off of sourdough toast and butter there is nothing better in my opinion so i made that for breakfast and then i completely zoned out i was exhausted after breakfast i quickly changed basically into more pajamas and then i headed over to get my lashes done shout out to my lash girl i absolutely love her after my lashes i went to the grocery store and picked up a few essential items and i am so sensitive the cashier was kind of rude to me and on my way walking back to my car i literally started tearing up like a freaking baby. I think another reason why I started tearing up is because I hate going to the grocery store, especially going by myself without Nick. And the fact that she was so rude to me just kind of like tipped me over the edge. And I was like, yep, it's time for the waterworks. I'm so tired of eating out and we all know that I don't cook. So I made me a very simple dinner with some cucumber, a whole avocado and some rotisserie chicken. My friend completely roasted me and she was like, ew, you eat the rotisserie chicken straight out of the bag. Like we put it on a pan and we cook it with butter and seasoning and it's so much better that way. And I need to try that because rotisserie chicken is just so so gross and bland. I made me my coffee for the next morning and just a quick little migraine update for those who are curious. I've been doing so good. I am a little worried for the storm that's coming through Vegas in a few days because that typically triggers them, but I'm keeping positive and praying that I feel okay. I was so tired, running on fumes, so I didn't really even film any of my night routine and honestly, I didn't even wash my face because I didn't want to get my fresh lashes wet, so I basically just took a body shower and went in bed. Mia's favorite place to go to sleep is on my pillow and it makes me so sad because I have to move her every night and it just breaks my heart. Spending time alone, working on yourself, 
reflecting, etc., is the work. That's the work. But later down the line, your life is going to be... regret staying up late to read a book until I have to wake up the next morning. So I woke up this morning and I was exhausted. I took my dogs outside and the eye bags were real this morning because I stayed up until like six in the morning reading. Went upstairs and made myself some bloom greens and then I decided to go for a walk because I've been in bed reading way too much lately. So I went for a little walk, came home and made myself a nice latte because I needed some caffeine like really bad. Went outside and my dad was cleaning the pool. I might go in later, not sure. Went inside, worked on my new YouTube video a little bit, drank my coffee, and that is my morning. Cassie decided to wake up at 4 a.m. that morning to get ready for school. She needed to clear her head. And for those three hours she spent getting ready, she only thought about one thing. There was also something refreshing about the amount of time she was putting into herself. Out of sight, out of mind.
If you need a little morning motivation, then keep watching this. This is my ideal 5 a.m. morning routine. Before anybody says anything in the comments, no, I'm not able to do this every day, but this is what I strive for. So after I get back from the gym, I go ahead and start to straighten up and clean up my home. I cannot start my day without a clean home, so I make my bed and get everything together. And once that's all done, I make myself a nice breakfast. The purpose of this routine is just to give myself time before work. Stains on my sheets are disgusting. Good morning, guys. I slept rock last night, and today is a extremely rainy day. It's Sunday. I decided to order myself some breakfast to treat myself, and it just got delivered, so I'm gonna brush my teeth and go eat my breakfast. Now let's go eat some breakfast. The alarm. I'm literally not used to having an alarm system, so sometimes we forget and we open up the door and then it's beeping and we have like 30 seconds to disarm it. Heard it from this place called Iron Rooster. They have homemade pop tarts. This one's brown sugar cinnamon, bacon, and a breakfast burrito. The house is an absolute disaster. It's Sunday, so I'm gonna do a Sunday reset today. That is amazing. Let's go do a workout. A little bit faster than me today. Push through the heels of the palm. Our arm will meet in front. Okay, whenever you find that high plank, shoulders are right. Let's chin away. Small, tiny, control movements. Kick as in. So make sure as you take. It's difficult to find. Bring a bend in the pit hole. Stay here, really squeeze. Bring an isometric hold as you straighten out through the right leg. Every rep challenge isometric hold. Six, your isometric hold reach and then your floor left.
no. Oh, <laughs> man. Good morning guys, I'm back home. It's time to get back into my normal routine. Today I have a nail appointment because I really want to get these specific Valentine's Day nails before Valentine's Day. And then I'm going to the gym and then Dev's mom got a new puppy so I'm going to visit. I'm going to bring you guys along. Goodbye! Oh yeah. Feels so good. I'm one inch taller. You guys so he's, literally, he's literally posing for a picture. What are you doing? Oh yeah. It's not nice. Leggings and a sports bra are from the Athlete Birthday Sale Collection, which is launching February 18th, and you can use code Claudia to get 10% off. First stop is nails, and I think I'm gonna get French with a bunch of little hearts. I'll show you guys after, but this is the before. Just finished, and here they are. They're super cute, French with little hearts all over them. So now let's go to the gym. Oh, how I miss these. So good. Let's go have a good leg day. So cute. Love me. Oh my god. Oh man. So fucking good. So good. That chocolate. Say hi, Mocha. Mmm. Mmm. That was really good. Shit.
but I'm so for s If I did not have this morning routine that I do every single morning, I feel like I would not have my shit together. Starting my morning with the green juice, I always find it's the best way to start the morning getting my greens in. I will never not find a way to move my body in the mornings. I always find it's the best way to start the day, whether you book a workout class, go for a walk, go for a run, do your favorite thing. It always feels so, so good to get a good sweat in. After a workout class, I always like to treat myself to a coffee, so I always get a vanilla oat iced latte. One thing about me is that I will never have have coffee on an empty stomach i will always have a filling nutritious breakfast before i start my day because the girls who know know i then get into my skincare because skincare for me is therapeutic i literally don't know what i would do without it and i always do my no makeup makeup look because it makes me feel more confident and to top it all off just throw on a cute outfit and that's the morning routine i strive to do every single morning before i start my work day Here's my morning routine as a 23 year old content creator who still lives at home. So I woke up around 8 o'clock and just made my bed as usual. Did my skincare routine. I've been loving using the Drunk Elephant Moisturizer and the Charlotte Tilbury Serum. And then for my favorite part of the day, I went to the kitchen to make myself a matcha. I actually frosted up the milk and I love the way it came out. After that, it was time to get ready for the gym. So I just got dressed and did a light makeup look. When I got to the gym, I did 12, 3.30 and then I did a little ab workout. And then when I got home, I made my favorite breakfast, overnight oats with some strawberries, bananas, almond butter and some honey and that was it
special spot. It's really relationship with God, including myself. I got you. I become the effect or know how to You always let your emotions get in the way. That's the problem with you, Lorelai. You don't think. Mom, please. He's just a man, Lorelai. No, he's not. Oh, so what are you telling me? That this was all worth it because he was the love of your life, that this was the man for you? I don't know. He might have been. Excuse me.
Homemaking and your home. And
major foods as I good morning guys so today i'm actually going to take you through how i became a 5 a.m girl i had read the book the 5 a.m club and honestly there's such a good storyline it's not just like a book about this is what you do and to become a 5 a.m -er. like no there's such a good story you guys should all read it and basically i would wake up at like seven or eight o'clock in the morning and i just found out my days weren't productive so i started to do like 15 minutes earlier each week for until i got to 5 a.m and now i just go to bed earlier i go to bed around 10 10 30 wake up at five and i love it
Okay, y'all, let's get ready for my college morning classes together. So not gonna lie, every day is a struggle of me not wanting to go to class and then wanting to skip class. But I thought today getting ready would help me feel motivated. But y'all, once I took out these heatless curls and saw that my hair was so greasy, you could literally fry an egg on it. I literally just wanted to crawl back in bed because I didn't even have time to go take a shower and do like a whole hair wash routine. And in my head, I was like, oh, I could just fix it with a cute hairstyle. But boy, was I wrong. But since my hair already made me feel so crusty, I thought I could put together a cute outfit instead. And in moments like this i wish i could be a slicked back hair girly but i feel like i literally just look like an egghead like how are y'all doing this and looking so snatched but i decided to do this cute headband moment instead but honestly i can't even tell if it's cute but at this point i was running out of time so i just quickly threw on some makeup and for everyone that tells me to fix my dark circles listen i am brown and at this point they're probably just a part of me and in general i don't sleep much because of my classes also here's the outfit of the day i swear the aritzia bodysuit slays every time and i honestly can't survive a class without starbucks and i was debating between my pumpkin chai or my strawberry chai but i did end up going with the pumpkin and then here we are going to our first class of the day which is accounting that is so disgusting
Happy Monday. Good morning. I'm going to take you through my before work routine. So I wake up around 520. I always have my gym and work stuff picked out the night before. It makes it much easier to get to the gym when everything's already picked out. Anyway, today was pool day and I chose this super cute purple set. I swear that wearing a super bright outfit makes my workouts better. So, okay, for the workout, I started with assisted chin-ups and then I went to lat pull-downs, face pulls, inverted rows and I finished with 21s. I always have a cinnamon cereal shake after my workout just to hold me over while I shower and get ready and take Clover out. We bundled up and made it to the dog park. It was freezing but she had so much fun. Then I made breakfast real quick, grabbed my stuff and headed to work. <laughs> 